My video for March 18th, 2020 is video number 3,399. The title is The Governor of Deception, a.k.a. God. <laughs> oh, another Tuesday is here. We still get one every week. My friend keeps telling me the RV will be announced officially this week. I'm sure many still have hope that it will become a reality. Supposedly, it was signed into law when Bill Clinton was the U.S. president. Yes, it goes back that far. Will I ever get to pursue my lifelong dreams of helping humanity? As promises fade into my history, I become more and more skeptical that anything good will ever be allowed to happen that would actually, uh, that would benefit humanity. Uh, as long as no one stronger than the evil cabal is in charge. I'm supposed to have faith. And some who probably have not been listening to my daily videos for very long keep telling me to trust Jesus. I have two large pictures that are said to be Jesus hanging on my walls. Of course, they aren't really. But then we've been lied to about nearly everything, including the good news that God is going to help us. I used to use an acronym for God, Grantor of Desire. Perhaps a better one might be Governor of Deception. Man certainly does not have dominion on this planet, and perhaps never did at any time in the past. If God exists, he has allowed continual deception. I wrote that blurb, and I've tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked it, uh, keep making changes, and finally I said, well, I better, <laughs> I've been doing this for over a half an hour, tweaking the, tweaking the blurb, <laughs> and uh, I may as well just record something. Um, last night, I got to spend some time with a handful of friends, and we were listening to St. Patrick's music, and uh, it, it makes you want to dance, and, and it, it's certainly uh, a lot of joyful music. And I also brought uh, one of my Seeker albums, uh, this one right here, the 50th anniversary of the Seekers, and we played a couple of songs from that. And uh, we just had a good time together for a little, little less than a couple of hours. Uh, we're not allowed to have meetings anymore uh, in the apartment complex, so we have to meet in people's apartments, <laughs> which limits the number of people that we can <laughs> that we can have, obviously. Uh, but I continue to live on the edge of what I would like to think is expectation, but it's really more like the edge of disappointment. As I said, uh, I, I've invested in, in an alternative currency nearly four years ago. I know I keep saying that. And I've also, much longer, if you look behind me at the bookshelves, if you, I tried to count how many Bibles I have up there. I think it's somewhere close to 20 different Bibles. Most of them are probably King James, but of course, I have some of the more modern translations and uh, some of the ones that even, I, I, know, I know I have a couple that predate the King James version. Uh, I have, you know, I'm not going to even try to name all the different versions that I have, but there's a lot of them. I mean, there's probably been more stuff written about the Bible uh, as a single subject than anything else. And the Bible and or God or religion, this is a, something that man has been interested in for a long time. When I say man, I'm talking about humanity, uh, that man includes male and female. Uh, and I, of course, have said many times that I grew up reading the Bible through. I mean, I was taught it was the Word of God. We used to have the Bible in pictures. I don't know whatever happened. There were 10 volumes of that, of various depictions of 
of things like the pictures of Jesus that I have one on my wall right here and one on the wall in the kitchen around the corner. Uh, <laughs> so Jesus has been a key figure for me, right? And yet here I am doubting. And like I said in the, in the video, I mean, I have people say, trust in Jesus. And they try to send me salvation messages on, on only believing. Well, <laughs> I've been only believing since I was a boy. Throughout my teens, I was preaching on street corners and got to speak while still a teenager in various churches. And throughout my 20s and my 30s, up until really even longer than, longer than that, because it was not so much just churches then, it became any group that was talking about spirituality. And I've also been interested in the political thing, which is why I so talk about Bill Clinton signing into law. But of course, a gag order was placed on, on that thing, and it's been the gag order ever since. I mean, we're talking about going back into the uh, 1990, late 1990s, before the 21st century even arrived this whole thing was supposed to manifest that was going to uplift humanity. But the powers that actually exist on, the, on earth, they don't want truth. They don't want justice for all, especially not themselves. They don't want good to happen for humanity because they have profited greatly from keeping humanity enslaved by our own lies that we now propagate in the name of religion, in the name of politics, in the name of national security. That's what they have. I mean, the elite, they don't want people to know truth because it threatens their continual control over the masses. And control over the masses by means of deception have been the rule. It's been the way of it. And I don't know how far back you want to go, but it goes back a long, long way. And nothing really changes. Everything remains the same. We are what we are till the day that we die. And that's the thing. I know I'm going to die at some point. I'd like to believe that they have these things that regenerate youth. That's, that's some of the withhold technologies that we can create bodies that don't get ill uh and so much of the illness is just bull i mean it's again kept going by using medicine not to heal but to keep the symptoms down uh of course when they put those chemicals into our bodies it increases symptoms in other areas so that we're always taking meds well, not me, but I always take my vitamins and my supplements. <laughs> oh, but I still have the dream. I still have the dream that there is a loving creator that really cares enough to actually bring heaven to earth, to actually right the many wrongs that have existed for so long on a planet of deception. We need real change, not to believe in. Like I keep saying, we need it to be experienced and not only by some people, but by all of humanity. We need to transcend all of the things that have been used to divide us from one another. And we need to find the common ground that allows us to love that can't happen until we know the truth. It may piss us off, but we have to eventually realize that every part of our lives have been riddled with lies and we are still in the control of liars. Thank you for listening and namaste.